Yo, 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 another big activity day. Today is June 25th, I believe. All right, we got a couple new listings over on Mentera Woods. Just a beautiful property. Listed at 5.5, four bed, seven bath, almost 7,800 square foot. This is a beautiful, like, estate. 2.3 acres. Uh, absolutely gorgeous property. Over on 17 Mile Drive. Another absolutely incredible property uh, right on the water, right on the beach. How do you beat this? Six million, six point one, five bed, four bath, 3,400 square foot. If you want to be right on the water uh, and right in that 17 mile drive, I mean, people travel from all over the world just to take this drive, live there on a daily basis. Okay, over on Unipro. We have Unipro and 12th Street, two bed, two bath, 7,300 square foot, under a million dollars. It's a little bit of a busy road, but hey, this is an intriguing property. It's it's a smaller home, but it is two bedroom. It's right over by the Mission Trail. It is a little bit of a busy street, but hey, this is priced to definitely attract some people to it. Sub a million dollars over in Karma by the Sea is, is pretty aggressive. Um, Via, Via Marmonti. Over and up across the street from the turnoff into Carpenter, you go up the hill, almost towards Jack's Peak, and you are technically still in Carmel. It's a private little offshoot not many people know about, but you have five beds, four baths, 5,700 square foot. Now, this is a 2.6. Now, hey, you're not walkable to downtown Carmel, but you are in the vibe. You are in the feeling. It's a quick little ride. You do have to cross the highway. But this is definitely a really intriguing property. And you get a ton of bang for your buck. Just a huge house um, for still being in Carmel proper. And then Ribera Road. This thing is returning to the market. This thing was absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's not waterfront, but it's right across the street on an elevated plane. So you can definitely see a ton of Monastery Beach. Uh, you can see pretty much into the bay and into the water. This is an awesome little property. I definitely have seen it before. It was originally listed in February. Uh, listed at 5.5. Now it's down to 4.5. And I think this is a really cool property. Really, really cool property. So we have a bunch of really nice units hitting the market today. Well, a couple price decreases over on Moscow. This one was up at 850 at first, now dropping about 820. Four bed, three bath, 2100 square foot. Does Seaside support an $800,000 listing? Uh, we will see, but this is definitely a prime neighborhood uh, and a really, really cool location in Seaside. So I could see the possibility of it hitting in the eights. Um, Mescal and San Pablo is, are a little bit of a busy road. So you, you definitely would probably recognize this home if you do some driving up in that upper Seaside corridor. San Carlos, uh, 3 Northwest of 13, uh, was originally listed at 2.4, now dropping to 2.3. This is over similar to that new listing on Unipro, but this is a 3,3,2,000 square foot, uh, originally listed at 2.4 compared to that other one, which was about a third of the size and listed under a million. You definitely have a little bit more bang for your buck and imagine that fire pit at night sitting out after kind of walking around playing on the beach all day. It's definitely an attractive property. Over on Lisbon Lane, over in Pebble, it was originally listed at 275, now down to 27, three bed, five bath, 4,800 square foot. You get a whole lot of house here. And over behind Pebble, listed around 2.7. Okay, now we're going over to Contingent, and we had another big day on Contingent. Stevenson Drive was originally listed at 2.5, just, just recently, boom, quick into escrow. Uh, over on Cantera Court, this one was originally listed over in March and 275 again. We're seeing a lot of Pebble Beach movement. Cantera Court is a really cool little cul-de-sac close to the lodge. I really, really like the location of this property and listed at 3,000 3, square foot. It, I'm definitely seeing why that one sold. Over on Presidio Boulevard, tucked up and away. We've said it once, I've said it a million times. PG sub a million dollar market. It's going to trade fast. Uh, this one was listed mid-May, three bed, two bath, 1,700 square foot. So you get quite a bit of home for that value over there. Blacktail Lane. Okay, so this is a sweet little property over in Deer Flats. Three bed, three bath, 2,400 square foot. And listed at 1.3. Hey, good for them because Deer Flats neighborhood sometimes could go for a whopping big figure. And sometimes they sit and they fizzle on the market for a little bit. I'm definitely excited to see that one trade. Um are in the process of trading. Over on Corona Road, this was a new recently listed property. 
for almost 6.4. Boom. And it went fast within the last two weeks. Four bed, five bath, almost 6,000 square foot. Sweet property. Absolutely sweet property. 85 acres. What? No, that can't be right. Oh my gosh. That's a crazy property. You probably own the whole hill in that run. Okay, over on Broadway Avenue. We've seen this one trickle on and off a couple times. In fact, I think it was relisted. Three bed, two bath, thousand square foot. Definitely getting some activity. You got ocean views. You're listed in the fives, um, which is a good price over in Seaside. And and he's got those lucky eights in there. Let's see what it ends up trading for. Good Rich Road. Man, we're seeing some really impressive activity today. Uh, listed at four six fifty, and it was listed at the end of May. Again, trading fast, a little bit under 3,000 square foot, three bed, four bath over in Carmel. You know, you're noticing, the, noticing anything here. It's just the price point of these homes that are trading. Really some impressive property trades. Three bed, two bath, 1,700 square foot over on Hannon. I believe we just brought, oh, maybe, oh, wow, it just hit the market. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, and this one was listed about 800 and it went in quick. We're seeing some really quick market activity and some huge movement today. Now, five changes sold. All right. Pescadero Road over in Carmel. Do Carmel Woods. 2-2 two, two at 1,400 square foot. Was listed end of May. It was listed at 1,150 and it traded for a million fifty. That was a nice quick trade over in Carmel Woods. Really cool property. I think that supports the price point. All right. This one on the old drive. I watched this one. I had a client that was kind of searching this neighborhood. It was originally listed at 1.8. They eventually dropped to 1585 and it traded for under 1.5. I think someone got a smoking dead value on this one for a 3 to 1500 square foot in a fantastic location. That was a, that was a good buy. Lacaro Road, again, the similar neighborhood. I was watching this one repeatedly. It was originally listed at $4 million and traded at 3.6. It was a 4 4, 3,300 square foot. Got the ocean views in a fantastic neighborhood. It was a really pretty property and a really pretty home as well. Not to see, surprised to see that one trade. Over on Crocker Ave, over in Pacific Road. This is over by Asilomar Beach. It was a 2 2, 1,300 square foot. Listed under a million bucks. It was a great location. It was a great location. Uh, and it was listed under a million dollars. I'm surprised this one didn't sell faster. You know, and it was listed end of March, right when that COVID action was hitting, right when the shelter in place was right in the thick of things. And they did one price. To, no, they did no price decreases. It almost traded for, for ask price too. Traded at 950 PG, sub a million dollar market. And this was a killer location. I think somebody got a really good buy on this one as well. And then Matador Road over in Pebble. This one was listed in January. Same neighborhood. Wow, this neighborhood over at MPCC got some serious trade action today. Three bed, four bath, 4,500 square foot. Just quite a bit of home. And ended up trading at 3.2. If you're noticing anything today, just it's the, the dollar figures on the trades, the contingents, and the listing. And there's a ton of activity. Hey, give me a call. I'm out going to a showing. Like right now, I'm probably going to be running late because I'm shooting this video. Give me a call. We'll be out and around. Talk to you soon.